welcome to edupedia world in this video we will learn about the role of agricultural sector in indian economy agriculture in the previous chapter we have learned that there was neither growth nor equity in the agriculture sector during the colonial period as we know agriculture is the four corner stone of indian economy agriculture is a not just an occupation it is a way of life we can say that it is a lifeline of indian economy According to Professor Gunnar Maidrill, it is in the agriculture sector that the battle for long-term economic development will be won or lost. For faster development of Indian economy, agriculture development is a prerequisite. Before going through the roles of agriculture sector, let us first discuss the feature of Indian agriculture. The Indian agriculture is characterized by certain special features such as dependence on rainfall. As we know that due to lack of irrigational facilities Indian agriculture basically depends on rainfall good rainfall results good crops and bad rainfall results bad crops that's why Indian agriculture is said to be gambling with monsoon in addition to it the rains are inadequate irregular and unevenly distributed among different regions all these factors lead to uncertainty in Indian agriculture next feature is subsistence farming the farmer produces crop only for his self consumption and hence very little marketable surplus is left indian farming is not too much commercial in nature as seasonal in character next feature is disguised and seasonal unemployment what is disguised unemployment disguised unemployment in that the number of workers persons engaged on a given piece of land are more than what is actually required their marginal productivity is zero or negative disguised unemployment is permanent in character with 20 to 25% workers rendered as unemployed similarly due to seasonal nature of agriculture activities a large number of farmers workers do not get employment for 4 to 5 years in a year next feature is low level of productivity In India agriculture sector per hectare productivity and per worker productivity both are very much below the level as compared to developed countries next feature is outdated technology since majority of farmers in india are small in size and bulk of indian farmers are poor backward technology is the only alternative left to them This also results in low productivity. Sixth feature is predominance of small farmers. In India, majority of farmers are either small or marginal. In addition, rapidly rising population leads to subdivision and fragmentation of land holdings. Consequently, farmers cultivate on very small pieces of land. Besides, there are landless laborers work on others' land. Next feature is multiplicity of crops. Due to large variations in climate and soil conditions, farmers produce many types of crops. But the most significant feature of multiplicity of crop is that there is predominance of food crops covering around 70% of area under cultivation. And the last feature is large inequalities. There are most disparities in size of farming. due to which there are large income inequalities of among small and the big farmers so these are some of the special features of indian agriculture now we come to role of agricultural sector as we know that agriculture is the basis of indian economy since more than 60% of india population depends directly or indirectly on agriculture as a source of their livelihood and more than 70% population lives in rural areas the importance and role of agriculture in indian economy can be evaluated basically on the following considerations first is contribution of agriculture in national income the contribution of agriculture to india's national income has always been very significant at present agriculture contributes 14.5% to india's gross domestic product that is gdp although in 1950-51 its share was more than 50% on the contrary countries like uk usa 
agriculture contributes only 3% and japan 5% land to the national income we can conclude that these developed countries are less dependent on agriculture such as compared to indian economy second consideration is source of livelihood in india over 2/3 of working population are engaged directly on agriculture and similarly depends for this livelihood on the contrary only 2 to 3% in uk and usa 6% in france and 7% in australia depends on agriculture as a source of their livelihood we can conclude that the unemployment pattern of our country is very much common to underdeveloped countries of the world the agriculture sector is also likely to remain the most promising and the biggest source of employment in future also third consideration is source of supply of wage goods wage goods are the necessity of life such as wheat rice pulses maize bajra and oil seeds etc india is now nearly self sufficient in food grains beside this the fodder to 25 crore livestock is also available only from the agriculture sector so agriculture sector fulfills the country's food and fodder requirements which are essential commodities for living fourth consideration is contribution to industrial development indian agriculture contributes to industrial development in two ways first by providing necessary raw materials to the industries like cotton sugar edible oils plantations such as tea and rubber and agro based cottage industries about 50% of income generated in the manufacturing sector comes all these agro based industries second way is by purchasing the goods produced by the industries agriculture can provide a market for industrial products as increase in the level of agriculture income may lead to expansion of market for industrial products now we come to the fifth consideration that is contribution in export trade indian agriculture plays a vital role in the country's trade agriculture products like tea cotton tobacco spices cashew nuts are the main item of our exports and constitute about 50% of our total exports Another 20% of our total exports earning come from manufactured jute, cotton, textiles and sugar. So we can say that nearly 70% of India's export originate from agriculture sector. Moreover, agriculture helps the country in earning foreign exchange to meet the required import bill of the country. And the last consideration will be source of government revenue. agriculture is one of the most important source to the both central and state government of the country the government gets significant share of income from raising land revenue even some other sectors like railway are getting a substantial part of their income from the movement of agriculture commodities so these are the basic role or we can say that importance of agriculture in indian economy after discussing the role of agriculture sector in indian economy now let us consider some problems of indian agriculture the contribution of indian agriculture still largely remains backward although it is considered as the backbone of the indian economy agricultural productivity which consists of both productivity of land and labor as well is among the lowest in the world that's why the problems of indian agriculture are divided into three major parts that is general problems technological problems and institutional problems each of the problem we will discuss one by one first we will discuss general problems in that first point is socio economic environment as we know that various socio economic factors like farmers conservative outlook ignorance illiteracy stand in the way of adopting of modern technology of indian agriculture until this discouraging atmosphere is changed it is not at all feasible to modernize and improve the condition of indian agriculture 
second general problem is pressure of population on land due to rapidly increasing population and lack of alternative employment opportunities the size of holding becomes smaller with the steady subdivision and fragmentation of land consequently there is a fall in per capita land holding moreover the marginal productivity of labor is zero or even negative in agriculture third problem is natural factor in india even after so many years of independence agriculture is said to be gambling with monsoons the rains are totally uncertain that is maybe insufficient or too much rain may cause heavy floods both of which cause widespread damage and destruction in addition water logging and salinity there is land degradation the cumulative effect of all these factors lead to downfall of agriculture productivity fourth problem is lack of productive investment there is almost absence of productive investment in indian agriculture as the investment in land in considered to be less remunerative as compared to alternative investment in other sectors and the last general problem is semi commercialized farming agriculture in india is neither fully commercialized it means production is meant for sale in the market nor subsistence farming that is production is meant for self consumption only rather it is a mixture of both this tendency adversely affects agriculture productivity a major shift to commercial farming can contribute significant motivation for agriculture development due to lucrative factors after discussing the general problems now we switch to technological problems there are some technological problems also in that first is traditional methods of production most of the indian farmers continue to use outdated wooden plows bullocks so that's why it is uh there is very extremely limited use of new high yielding variety of seeds pesticides and fertilizers that's why there is a very low productivity in agriculture second technological problem is inadequate irrigational facilities stats shows that only 36% of gross cropped area has irrigational facilities in other words 64% area continues to depend on rains due to insufficient uncertain and irregular rainfall productivity is very low moreover the area having irrigational facilities the potential is not fully utilized because of defective management due to increasing cost of irrigational facilities the small and marginal farmers are not able to make use of available irrigational facilities next technological problem is lack of agriculture research storage and warehousing facilities agriculture research in india is very outdated in comparison to its requirement whatever research is being done its result are not even made available to the farmer for its application thus many chronic problems of agriculture occupation faced by the farmers still remains largely unattended In addition due to lack of storage and warehousing facilities a huge portion of crop is wasted so these are some of the technological problems of indian agriculture now we come to some institutional problems in that first is small size of holdings the average size of agriculture holding in india is less than 2 hectares and per capita cultivable land is just 0.26 hectares moreover with such uneconomic and fragmented holding cultivation on them can be carried out only by labor intensive techniques this results in low productivity next problem is defective pattern of land tenure the land tenure system in india is totally defective the cultivator has to pay high rent to the landlords and consequently small or landless cultivators are exploited in this system it is difficult to increase productivity only through technological means in fact land reforms should proceed technological changes next problem is lack of credit and marketing facilities 
due to lack of credit marketing facilities the cultivators are not able to invest the required resources in agriculture consequently the level of productivity or land and per capita is very low if these facilities are provided the level of productivity can undoubtedly be enhanced so these are some of the problems of indian agriculture which is very important to be solved so that indian economy could be grow thank you for watching edupedia world videos